Hello and welcome to the program. So the Innovation Market International Forum, a meeting place for inventors, innovation experts and startups has kicked off in the Ukrainian capital. The fair is being held in Kyiv for the fourth year in a row and its main goal is to support Ukrainian inventors. More than 250 startups from all over the country have attended and I'm pleased to say joining us in the studio to talk more about Ukraine's innovation potential is Vitaly Chanuk. He is um, head of the expert group on communications and strategic planning of innovation and technology transfer directed of Ukraine's Ministry of Education and Science. Hello, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Um, so this is a, a fascinating event. You have a lot of very ambitious entrepreneurs, uh, universities, international experts, foreign businesses who've come to Kiev to see this. Um, can you tell us what is the main objective of this event? We need, we need to organize a special platform where business and our uh, science sectors can communicate uh, between uh, each other and face-to-face -face communication is more useful uh, for uh, uh, maybe future cooperation, maybe a new contract, mm -hmm. uh, new uh, cooperation between universities and enterprises and between uh, universities and research sectors uh, with uh, and uh, venture funds mm. business angels and so on so we need to come to be uh, more close uh, business uh, to universities and research uh, institution and these sorts of events really help um improve this communication and cooperation so between we gather together all the stakeholders and from uh, government sectors from universities research institutes small academy of science also very uh, smart guys mm -hmm. that won international level with his research results mm -hmm. and also our partner from ministry of economic development uh, help us to organize uh, business sector and uh, such a platform uh, allow to communicate with each, uh, each other face-to-face -face communication or eyes-to-eyes -eyes communication. Yeah, and a lot of people um, don't know so much about this uh, innovation that um, Ukraine has and it's flourishing and it's not confined to a particular sector. I know at this event uh, you have uh, different startups or entrepreneurs who are involved in healthcare, energy, security, um, just to name a few. So, um, what what is the mechanism that really that's needed to help these entrepreneurs and these startups? What what is the main thing they need? Is it legal help? Is it money? Uh, first of all, legal help, and our main mission to as a policymaker, first of all, to organize such a, uh, legal places, legal field that where the entrepreneurs. Uh, Begin, beginner in business and startups can uh, which uh, who try to create uh, their own startups uh, we need to support them and uh, help them to realize their innovative ideas mm. and transform these ideas into innovative products and organize a business a special business involve some investments and so on and um, how does the ministry um, help? What is the ministry's particular role? Ministry, uh, our, our main role to organize a special uh, um, ecosystem, mm -hmm. uh, use uh, uh, co comfortable conditions mm -hmm. for, the, for such activity. And uh, we have for now a special innovative strategy, mm -hmm. strategy for innovative development. Uh, and uh, the main goals of the strategy is to create a special innovative ecosystem. So it's national structure which uh, universities, research institutes, uh, SME, startups, uh, business uh, can communicate with each other and uh, transform knowledge uh, in, into new technology, into new business opportunities and so on. And I know there were um a lot of fresh ideas from the panel discussions sure. that were held. Um, what were the uh, topics that stood out for you during these discussions? Uh, we need to develop an innovative uh, culture, a culture for entrepreneurship, 
and we need to develop our innovative infrastructure, mm. especially at university. It's a science park, technology business incubator, startup school, and so on. And is that something that um, international partners of Ukraine can help with and this uh, foreign experience? Sure. Uh, it's this uh, panel discussion. Uh, there were uh, partners from Israel. Mm. It's a great country with a great successful st innovative stories. Mm. And uh, they share their experience with us and help us to organize uh, and build uh, such effective innovative ecosystem. And I can imagine there's a lot of cooperation between the two countries already. I know sure. we've actually had people in the studio sure. who've spoken about this. Sure. Uh, but often uh, one of the main challenges for the entrepreneurs, the startups, the universities is uh, to do with money. Um, so what sort of grant programs are there available to uh, these different groups who perhaps have a great idea, but they're not quite sure how to get it off the ground financially? First of all, we have some uh, grants program state grants program that help our, uh, first of all, inventors, researchers to do special, special applied researches, transform uh, results this is researches into innovative products and transform these innovative products in startups company and uh, went, uh, to the, went to the international market also. Mm. What's the most difficult thing for startups in your To opinion? begin. <laughs> <laughs> to begin. To validate the ideas, mm. to understand where is the right market, uh, uh, and uh, we involved uh, uh, many of mentors from successful business. So, in such way, to create a special institution for mm. mentorship, and uh, this mentor, uh, all of these mentors help us to organize such. Uh, uh, special courses on the, at universities mm. uh, and help uh, our uh, startups and students most of all it's uh, very effective young people that uh, want uh, would like and try to do something um, would it be fair to say that a lot of young people sure. know more about uh, innovation but not so much about the business aspect of it about making a profit about writing business plans that sort of thing Sure. Uh, our mentors help uh, to understand young people uh, all of this process. First of all, uh, what's the idea? What's the new idea? Where is the market? How to create a special business plan? Who is uh, uh, suppliers? Who is the customers for such products? Mm. Who is uh, maybe competitors for such products? How to uh, go to market the best possible way, in short way, because startups, it's a very quickly uh, business uh, idea, idea, business mm. plan and so on. And you can't go the long way because someone's sure, guaranteed sure. to sure, get there sure. before you. <laughs> sure. But um, often we talk about smart cities and clusters as well. You have extensive experience in this. So sure. for our audience who perhaps don't know about how these smart cities function, uh, how do they help entrepreneurs and the next, the future generation of tech innovators? In Kyiv we have uh, uh, one of the innovation pro uh, innovative pro uh, project that connected with uh, Kyiv Smart City, mm. maybe you, hear, you yeah. have heard about it, and uh, now he, uh, this, uh, uh, they have a special Kyiv Smart City hub and launch a special program, accelerator program, and find some startups that connected with city development. And uh, they have special fund for support such a project. And every year, some of the project uh, were implemented uh, in uh, process in Kyiv in Kiev city. Maybe you know special cut, Kyiv yes, smart city, yeah, yeah. and so on. And apart from the smart city concept, which um, we've had reports about this on the channel. It's very impressive, all the work that's been done. Um, at this uh, particular forum, um, what were the ideas that impressed you most about, without naming the companies, what were the ideas where you thought, wow, this is actually, I didn't think of this and I should have thought of this before. <laughs> so every year we organize the uh, All Ukrainian Festival of Innovation. Mm. And uh, it's my idea from uh, 2016 
And next year in May will be the five uh, fest fifth fest festival of the innovation. Mm. And uh, I saw how uh, our young talented people, young talented startups, uh, developed in this period during this uh, period. And uh, some years ago, I saw uh, these guys on uh, the stage of ideas. Mm. And uh, now today we have a successful stories. This these guys, two, two startups, I mean, uh, has a uh, own production. Mm. So one of them is a relief project. It's a new technology that can turn uh, uh, fallen leaves mm. into papers. Into papers, a cheaper production of the papers. And uh, we have saved our planet, yeah. our yeah. trees, our wood. It's a big problem for today for our plant. You you see how many events we have in the world yeah. uh, about this thing. Well, it certainly sounds like a great initiative. Uh, thank you so sure, much sure, for sure. Uh, coming into our studio and talking more about uh, all these innovations. Hopefully we'll have you back in soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was uh, Vitaly Chanuk. He is uh, the head of the expert group on communications and strategic planning of innovation and technology transfer directorate of Ukraine's Ministry of Education and Science. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more here on UATV.